Dear students, welcome in the next lecture of this electronic spectra of transition metal element complexes. So, in this lecture, I will discuss about the charge transfer spectra. What is charge transfer spectra and how it is different from that of DD transition? Because uh, till now you have seen the uh, Tanabe Sugano diagrams, the Oracle diagrams, which explains about the uh, the DD transitions uh, in, among in the transition metal complexes. So, in this lecture, we will discuss about the charge transfer spectra. You have seen in transition metal complexes, there is DD transition. So, DD transitions uh, will occur only when there is DD electron. If the transition metal complex has D electron, the configuration you have studied that are D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6, D7 and D8, D9. So, in these configurations, the D orbital was partially filled or half filled. So, there were electrons in D orbital. But what about the color of the transition metal complexes with D0 or D10 configuration? So, sometimes some uh, complexes in which the central metal atom or ion is having D0 or D10 configurations, they are sometimes colored. So, if they are not colored, then we can, uh, we can assume that due to absence of D electrons, there is no DD transition and they uh, are not able to show the color. Why a, a, a complex show color? Because its unpaired electrons, they absorb the visible range light and then uh, from when it comes from the excited state to the ground state, it emits the energy in the form of light and that light is the complementary color of the absorbed light. So, it appears colored. So, if there is no D electron, then how these type of complexes, they show color. So, in this we will discuss about these type of complexes which have no D electron, but they show color. So, if we see some examples like KMnO4, in this KMnO4, the Mn is in plus 7 state. So, as we know that the uh, electronic configuration, valential configuration of Mn is 3D5, 4S2. There are 7 electrons in the outermost shell and if in this compound it is present as a plus 7. So, in plus 7, it has D0 configuration. So, we can say that it has D0 configuration, but it is purple in color. We have seen in the laboratory, it is pulper in color, while in case of K2Cr207 again, the oxidation state of this chromium is plus 6. And plus 6 means because there are 6 electrons in the valence shell of chromium, so again its configuration become D0. So, it is again orange in color, while its configuration is D0, but it is orange in color. In case of K2CrO4, Again, Cr is in plus 6 state. Again, it is D0 configuration, but it is yellow in color. So, what is the region behind it? What is the region? Why? Even in the absence of D electrons, some complexes are colored. So, the answer is the charge transfer transition. Here, no DD transition because there is no D electron. So, the answer is in some cases if there is no D electron but the complex is colored then there is possibility of charge transfer transition. So, so uh, we will discuss what is charge transfer transition. If we see the charge transfer transitions, these transitions are spin allowed number one. As we have seen in case of DD transitions, uh, in case of D5 configuration, the transitions were not spin allowed. Why the transitions were not spin allowed? Because the multiplicity from ground state to excited state changed. Why changed? Because in case of this D5 configuration, the configuration is like this. You can see. 
so this electronic arrangement in case of d5 configuration was like this this is eg and this is t2g if we if we are talking about the octahedral complex then this will be the case so this is the this is ground state so after excitation of one of the unpaired electron that is from here to here so the configuration of excited state will become like this like this so you can see that here the electron for transition it has to change its spin here the down, upward spin here the downward spin so number of unpaired electron also reduce here only three unpaired electrons here five unpaired electrons so due to presence of these five unpaired electrons the multiplicity was six but here the multiplicity is four so you can see that the electron is transferring from six multiplicities to four multiplicity term so it is spin forbidden so in case of some dd transitions like half field configurations there is possibility of the transfer of electron from in between different multiplicities so they are spin forbidden transitions but in case of these uh, charge transition charge transfer transitions they they are always spin allowed transitions why we will see they are of four types generally they are four types that is the transition of electron from metal to metal transition of electron from metal to ligand transition of electron from ligand to ligand or transition of metal from ligand to metal so these are the four possibilities of transition of electrons so this is not a kind of dd transition this is occurring in between metal or metal metal and ligand or ligand or ligand so this kind of transitions they are known as charge transfer transition now we can see that these uh, uh, charge transfer transition uh, complexes they are intense colored compounds generally generally they are intense colored compounds sometimes uh, they absorb light in the uv region not in the visible region so uh, sometimes they appear uh, colorless but their band is intense because they are spin allowed as well as leopard for allowed uh, transitions uh, and they are also spin allowed they are leopard allowed as well as spin allowed and so they are intense colored compounds sometimes they may be colorless due to absorption and the uv range uh, but their bands are intense intense why because they are spin allowed as well as leopard allowed transitions so what are the other specialities of these kind of transitions so in these transitions there is internal oxidation reduction process so oxidation reduction process takes place internally because electron is transferring electron is transferring from metal to metal from ligand to ligand from metal to ligand or from ligand to metal so internal oxidation reduction processes takes place and these kind of electronic transitions they give rise to charge transfer spectra and these spectra are also called as redox spectra because there is internal oxidation reduction process during the electronic transition so you can see that in case of uh, electronic transition in dd orbitals the the uh, the electron tra electronic transitions were spin allowed sometimes and maybe sometimes they may be spin forbidden so sometimes they may be intense the the peaks and sometimes they may be weak so in case of as in case of d5 configuration the complexes are very light colored complexes due to spin forbidden transitions but in case of if we see the uh, charge transfer complexes then we will see that in case of trans charge transfer complexes the uh, the transitions are spin allowed so because they are spin allowed then they will be intense and the color of the compound will also going to be uh, this uh, intense sometimes it can be uh, not uh, not intense sometimes the compound may be colorless so if we conclude the charge transfer spectra 
then we will find that this is the different kind of spectra and in this the charge means electron will transfer from metal to ligand from metal to metal from ligand to metal or from ligand uh, metal to ligand so in this case the transitions are generally spin allowed so because they are spin allowed even in the absence of d electron the color of the compounds are generally intense why because there is no dd transition no dd because in case of dd transition all the transitions are leopard forbidden except d5 all are spin allowed but in case of charge transfer spectra all the transitions are spin allowed as well as leopard allowed so because they are following the two selection rules of electronic spectroscopy they are following leopard rule as well as spin allowed rule so they are intense colored and they show intense bend in their electronic spectra so this is how this is different from dd transition and you have already seen that some compounds like uh, kmno4 k2cr207 k2cro4 where the the configuration of the central metal ion in, is d0 they are very colored so the reason behind this kind of compounds where uh, instead of the uh, no electrons in the d orbital they the compound show intense color there may be the region behind it is the charge transfer transitions so uh, you can understand if you understand this uh, charge transfer spectra then i will discuss one by one about the four kind of transition uh, charge transfer transition that are metal to metal ligand to metal ligand to ligand and metal to ligand so in the in the next lectures i will discuss one by one about these four types of uh, transitions charge transfer transitions so thank you very much